Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Trading Punches in Auckland, New Zealand. The ABA with you tonight, Isaac Savage, and the champ himself, Shay, Mr. Business Brock. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Isaac. Pleasure to be here with you calling these fights. I mean, we've had quite an interesting, um, quite an interesting, interesting show so far. It certainly has been. And first out of the red corner tonight, we've got. Ashley Tommy Gunn Thompson, 29 years old, 6'4. And just a, just a segue on what you said before, it is interesting with the round winner being pronounced after each round. It, it's good, bad, certainly leaves uh, not too much room left for the end result, but you've got to yeah. fight hard to, yeah. to win it from the start. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't stop a championship fight in round seven because one person's dominated the fight. Hey, tell us how you really feel, Shay. Tell us how you really feel. And I agree. I agree. Because there was one fight earlier where if it did go to the third round, it could have gone either way. Yeah, well, yeah, and just in that last fight as well, I, w I wanted to see the third round, regardless of the um, of the result, I was having fun watching it and calling it at the same time. So. Now, out of the blue corner, we've got Mikey, hit and run, Parrot. Loving this guy's bow, loves pina coladas, and actually likes getting caught in the rain. He's not really into his health food, more into his champagne. Favourite sauce is tomato, and not a huge fan of changing baby's nappies, according to his bio here, but hey, don't disagree on that one. We're going to see if hit and run out in the blue is going to take it to Tommy Gunn in the red. I don't know how this is going to go, Shay. Well, based on just the names, Tommy Gunn, he's going to come out firing. Hit and run, he, he better be quick. Got it. I love that introduction there from Dale, the man, husband. Actually, Tommy Gunn Thompson there in the red. Mikey Hatton Run Parrot in the blue. Mikey Hatton Run Parrot, I love that bio. Very honest and open about uh, tomato sauce and changing nappies. But let's see how it's going to go down when the gloves touch. Well, just in the last line there, he reckons that his missus filled out his bio. So, Oh, Tommy oh Gunn, he's some massive shots. Hatton Run Parrot is just eating these gloves. What do you think of the Tommy gun, mate? Well, Tommy gun's coming out firing like one, isn't he? I've never seen anyone eat more shots and still stay standing. He's obviously got a chin on him, Shay. And no guard. Let's put that out there. Get that guard up, hit and run. I want to see... Oh, he's taking too many shots here, Shay. I'm well, not enjoying this. But he's still standing. Uh, the ref's going to have something to say as well. He can't be healthy. Well, and the thing is, he's taking the shots, he ain't giving it back, he ain't, he's just he ain't, being happy to get hit. He's not even stepping moment. down, he's got a heart and chin of steel. Oh, he got he got out of the way of that. Tommy Gunn coming forward. Now oh, here we go, there's a bit of head of movement. Oh, massive shots here from the Tommy Gunn. He's getting out of the way. I want to see Hit and Run unleash. 
Come on, hit and run in the blue. Come out firing. Stop eating those punches. The referee's had enough. He doesn't like where this fight is going. Personally, uh, well, for health and safety, obviously it was stopped, but I feel like it could have gone a little bit longer, Shane. Yeah, but, you know, how long is too long? You know what I mean? You know, it's easy to sit back and watch back home and even from here. You don't know and feel the impact of what it felt like in the ring, and those shots were landing quite clean. Just looking at the reaction on his face, though, he he's not too impressed, especially, you know, considering all the training that led into it. He's got a one fair go. But in would it that, would have been, he been healthy, though, for, for yeah, that to yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah that's, as I was saying, you know, you, he's not giving himself a fair go, if anything. You know, he needs to listen to what he learned in training. Obviously, keep your hands up, first and foremost. I mean, we've seen him starting to evade the punches quite well there. Yeah. He did. And he's, you know, I felt like it could have gone on a little bit longer, but that's probably the um, pugilist side of me wanting to see it continue. Yeah. 